Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about how to become a DJ for free. Now don't take this to mean a professional DJ or anything and it won't make you instantly brilliant at mixing music or anything like that. These are just tools that you can use to create playlists or for parties or anything like that and you can change pitch and the, the um, speed of your MP3s and things like that. So, firstly we're going to start with Ott's turntables and it says product is free for pro private and personal use only all these are free um, now you'll notice it said Fox Audio and it's now playing the default things um, that is one of the down points of Fox, Fox turntables that it keeps playing that occasionally as you go through your songs and you'll also notice I have two songs here one's Audio Billies and one's called Take a Look Around which I'm just going to put on here and I don't know press a few buttons see what they do and you'll notice that in putting it into this playlist has actually made some extra files the mp3.omx files which I suppose means you can load it onto the turntable quicker or something like that but either way I'm just going to drag this on and see what happens I'm just going to play it obviously I don't know the first thing about DJing so this is more to show people who just want to have a muck about so you can see you can you can drag them around as if they were actual decks and this is the pitch and the tempo and you can also reverse it so uh, that's pretty much it, this is the volume this auto DJ feature doesn't work, you need to have the um, that it term keeps telling you to upgrade and it says it as well when you finish um, you can also bung a, another song onto here and then mix them together or something. And there's a graphic equaliser here where you can change like the bass and things like that. And dynamics processor which is more about the volume or how it will sound. So this is Ott's turntables. You know, that's when I get a credit it also says, there we go, upgrade to pro. So I think this is more annoyware than anything. Now the next one is mix. This is highly recommended by, um, I've noticed by several people. Um, now I'm just going to drag this onto here, I've, also, I've been trying it before so you'll notice if I go to, I can right click and say player 1 and you'll notice that it's loaded up uh, the sound file in like a wave and you'll notice here we have channel 1 and several things you can do to the file now if I go to play it so it's playing again, if I, take, if I put this onto here as well and put it into channel 2 if this slide is on the left hand side you can't hear what's happening with channel 2 so I can then play channel 2 we can now run them both together and if I was to go the other side you can hear the other song I'm playing so it gives you time to, to drag this around to try and match it to your song and then also it's got a sync button so it can try and sync it for you and um, that's, I don't really know much else about it you can change the pitch here and then again, I suppose here, showing how quiet it is. And uh, I think we've got options for doing like extra mixes and input controllers and things like that. Um, but other than that, that is mix. Next one is MR1200. Now this is only one deck, but it's a huge deck you've got here. Um, all you have to do is drag your song onto here. Uh, it's very basic. It's uh, freeware, and it's. 143 kilobytes in size, so you've actually got this thing pick up and some other bits. I'm just going to mess about. I put bang bang onto here again. See, it's now importing it. It doesn't make an extra file. All the other three that I'm doing don't make an extra file, unlike OTS. So we're going to start. Here we go again. I'm not sure what this does. This doesn't seem to do anything. So, uh, pick up. Not sure what that does either. And you'll see that this is going around in a circle on the record as if it was a DJ. So you can change the pitch here, the percentage of the pitch here. Not sure what twist or mesh does. Didn't really do anything. Set cue. Cue. So you can. Yeah, that's really annoying. <laughs> you can take a cue point. And reverse play it. Let's go the other way. And jog. That's what jog does. Go ahead. And this just seems to fine tune the uh, 
much. Uh, that's where you have to tap the boot so you can find it. So that is that program, that's MR1200. I'll provide all the links in the description. Um, T, T player um, looks a little bit funky. Now to get that background I had to go to pictures and then I chose T player and then it had the background. You see this time it's got like um, valves, not valves, uh, the little, oh you know what they are. <laughs> um, and uh, I've already imported audio bullies onto here so I'll load it here, press play. And you'll see with this time, this slider is to go to the left channel and right channel of your ears. So, it goes to the left speaker, goes to the right speaker. And this is for pitch. That goes quite, goes quite high. And uh, this is the uh, volume here. And then you can obviously put one on the other side and there's several other buttons. That doesn't seem to work. Up, down, no, that one. Oh, so it's got an auto mixer, so you can auto mix it onto your next file. So all you have to do is put a playlist into here, and then have it auto mix everything for you. So that is T Player. Now, obviously, I couldn't. I'm, I don't know that much about DJing, so um, well, I don't know anything about DJing to be honest. So those are the programs that I've heard of. So if you know of anything better, or if there's anything about these that I haven't mentioned that might benefit like the normal user, one who no, one who isn't a professional DJ, then. Let me know, write a comment, and thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks for watching.